Okay, so tonight was really the first episode of Married at First Sight. The name of the episode was called Hello Stranger. Ten daring singles take the ultimate leap of faith and meet their spouse, a complete stranger, at the altar. Some couples feel that they're a match made in heaven. But for one picky groom, his bride is not what he expected. Now, I'm going to give you the recap of the wedding day from Married at First Sight. There, um, as much information that I can give you, uh, some side notes that I made about the couples, uh, as well as, excuse me, if they're going to make it or not. Now, the first couple up is Clara, who's 27, Ryan, and 29. Now, remember I said this couple would not make it. I do want to say that they blindfold. there was a blindfold that the groom thought of for her to wear to walk down the aisle. So her dad had to literally lead her down the aisle blindfolded, that's, and her bl blindfold read bride, and his blind, blindfold read groom, and they held hands, and then it was like maybe about five to ten minutes before the maid of honor and the best man removed the blindfolds. I always enjoy the part where the preacher shares with the bride and the groom, as well as the guests attending, what the friends and family are are think are sharing from each other. Like they'll say, they want you to know this about Clara, or they want you to know this about Ryan. So it's kind of entertaining. It's funny, caring moments. Um, then Ryan and Clara shared their vows that they had written. Um, the Ryan's vows were so beautiful and sincere. Clara's vows were as honest and heartfelt. They exchanged rings. There was a sweet, quick kiss. They might be friends after this experiment, but I don't see them lasting as a couple. And I liked the colors of the wedding. And I do have a picture here from their uh, wedding off of the Married at First Sight uh, Facebook page. This is shows you the blindfold that they had on. And you don't get to see her bridesmaids, but it was like an eggshell purplish blue. Um, I know some of you are saying there's no such thing. Watch the wedding. There was. Uh, next up is Virginia and Eric. Now, I said originally these two would make it, remind you. Uh, Virginia arrives with bridesmaids. They drink. Virginia is a young 26. Her parents ended in a divorce. She has a fear of abandonment. She chats with her bridesmaids. They get her dressed, and Eric is a divorcee and older than Virginia. He's 34. Now, mind you, Virginia's 26. Eric is 34. Okay. Um, Eric is a divorcee older than Virginia, chatting with a groomsman, and parents drop by and tell him to be patient, kind, and loving. He admires his parents' relationship, almost 40 years of marriage. Virginia's dad made it, and and he wasn't really f fully supportive of this wedding, but he showed up. Eric greets the mom, stepmom, and biological mom. Nerves are sinking. Virginia sh starts crying. The producer is like, are you ready to do this? She says no. She literally feels sick, and she can't believe it's here. And her dad says, you can still run away. She says, let's freaking do this. His mom says, oh, she is so pretty when she walks down the aisle. They smile and he is so nice to her dad. Compliments her. She is crying. Oh my God, this is crazy. He says, yes, it is, but we are going to get through this. His mom says, Virginia, Virginia Lake, meaning she's putting his last name with her first name and seeing how it fits. And she's like, okay. She doesn't say okay, but you can tell like it's she, she's mentally going, this might work. Uh, the family and friends to told the preacher who shares the, with Eric and, and vice versa with uh, Virginia about Eric. They have written vows. And I love how Eric says right off the bat, thank you for showing up today instead of her wanting to bolt and run. While funny, it was heartfelt, and she was nervous. He was supportive. They exchanged rings. Eric says they should have brought my dog. Virginia says, I hope they get along, because she has a dog, and her dog is there at the wedding. He thinks it'll be okay, quick peck of a kiss, and she holds his head, and while it, it was quick, it was very passion-filled, and he said, oh, he liked that, so that showed promise. 
Now we have two couples married and three couples to go. Brianna, 28, and Vincent, 28. Brianna is a structured and organized uh, and definitely out of her comfort zone for sure. Brianna's getting ready. She says she wants to be physically attracted. Sounds like, and what is his name? Or, or, she wants to be physically attracted. Wants to know what he sounds like. I couldn't read what I put there for a moment. And what is his name? Vincent is nervous and anxious. He doesn't want to just have to ha have fun. He wants to be serious and settle down. He believes in destiny. And he is there for a reason. Vincent didn't have parents around. He wants to be a super dad and a husband he shares with his groomsmen. And then her mom arrives. They chat about the groom and the wedding day. Brianna and her, and her mom does. And how calm she seems. Brianna is. And her mom feels that she's ready for this wedding day. Um, now Brianna shares that she's used to getting her way all the time. Not used to compromising. The, the prayer before the groom takes his place. And I like how Vincent and his groomsmen meets the mom and says, she don't have to be nervous. You got it. Bree admits that she tends to look at the physical before compatibility. Bree's dad says, I know I seem to be standoffish, but I'm protective. They walk down the aisle and Bree says, tall, check, beard, check, handsome, check. So it's like a physical checklist that she's made in her mind and she's checking it off to make sure that these uh, people matched her with the right man. He greets her dad and then greets her. They both are nervous, but they're ready for this wedding. The preacher shares the friends and family views, basically getting a love boss, if you will, is what he gets in Brianna, but must accept her dog. She is a dog mom. Vincent and family friends share that he's a man of God, handles business first, and will let her know after it's been done, and that he loves hard. They do the traditional vows, and then the handwritten vows. Vincent talks about fate and the power of prayer, promise to always listen and show respect with faith and hard work. We will grow old together. Bree talks about I have no idea what I wrote there. Own, oh, how their life will be a journey. And she will occasionally talk his head off, but that's what communication does. The key, and it will be crazy together, but this is a leap for, of faith for both of them. And they exchange rings and short, small kiss. I thought that was sweet and touching and tender. And they may have a chance at making it. Paige is 25 and Chris is 27. Chris does a prayer. And Paige and her mom of the preacher prays before the wedding. Chris walks down the aisle with his parents. And Chris greets his mom. Or greets her mom. And they hug. And he tells her she's beautiful. The bridesmaids enter and Paige says that she, her heart is pounding a thousand miles and the Holy Spirit is talking to her and not to waste time to go meet Chris, uh, her new husband. Chris tells the producer that looks as it looks, now mind you, is important to him and he sees her and he's totally not attracted. Next time the reception will happen and of course we didn't get to see that last wedding. Um, when I watched the rerun a few moments ago, I noticed that we did pictures with Clara and Ryan, which was cute, but Ryan just didn't seem to show the passion that Clara showed. So I see trouble in that. Virginia says if they signed up for this, then they are committed to be married and taking it seriously. She wants to have the upper hand and she's scared of her man leaving her, unsure if she is really ready for this. Eric says he's pretty traditional and he wants marriage and family. Virginia and Eric take photos and she believes instant connection that it's easy and natural. He finds her aggressive and confident, gorgeous, yet overwhelming. Uh, hey, which the couple we didn't get to see, ne which will be showcased next week, will be Haley, who's 28, and Jacob, who's 38. Ryan and Clara. I said they, I do not see them making it and I will still say I do not see them making it. Brianna and Vincent, I said they will make it, and I still say that they will make it. Haley and Jacob, I said they would not make it, but we haven't even seen these two get married yet, so the jury is still out. Paige and Chris, originally I said possible match, now I'm not so sure. He isn't attracted to her looks, so this might not work out now. Virginia and Eric, originally I said these two are smitten with each other. 
Their chemistry seemed great until she went to the bar tonight to get a drink. Even his parents give a disapproving glance that cast it her way. It seems like a rocky road that they may have to travel, but we'll have to stay tuned to find out if, in fact, they do make it. And that is your report for Married at First Sight this week. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll see you again for the next episode of Married at First Sight.